Welcome to Pokey Dippies, brought to you by Zamora Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and of course, as I just said, Zamora Gaming uh, is where you can find my stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and anything in between. And now I'd like to welcome you to the rest of the group. Let's go ahead and start with David. Uh, I'm going to cough, so I'm going to pass for a second and let someone else go. <laughs> 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 Sorry, everyone. His boyfriend's oh, over. Come on. All right, Jesse. <laughs> David, mute yourself for Christ's sakes. I don't know how. Look, you go. Are you on mobile or are you on your phone? Because if either one should have one that says mute microphone. All right, uh, Stuart. You want to introduce yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good day. <laughs> I'm Stuart. Been on PML for a long time now. I'm sitting here. It's summer. There's no snow outside for me. I've had power non-stop all week. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. All right, Jesse. Butterfree, what's up? It's just me, Jesse, your announcer, who occasionally likes to play Pokemon and does not do anything special. And the copper, David. Uh, I go by GS Kamikaze, uh, streaming on Facebook mostly, and that's it. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't say eventually Twitch. Hey, David, did you have, did you have, did you have power all week? And I was like, they're going to make fun of me. <laughs> oh, you really dodged a bullet there. <laughs> oh, all right, well, this week we have Butterfree to talk about. Yeah. As you can see by its stats, you know, it's an underwhelming Pokemon, but here we go. Butterfree with its abilities, compound eyes, and tinted lens. The type of this Pokemon is Bug and Flying, and the stats here are HP 60, Attack 45, Defense 50, Special Attack 90, Special Defense 80, and Speed 70. So, whew, I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that battle right there. Thank you for not even giving it, like, any kind of credit. Like, it's not a bad Pokemon, you just said, no, it's underwhelming, and you're damn right, it's underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be so much better. It could be. It could be Psychic Bug. Well, the only good thing about it is it got a G Max that made it slightly more feasible. But since G Max is it doesn't boost still kind of nothing, so it's just like eh. it just makes it more difficult for your opponent. But even still, that's <laughs> underwhelming. I mean, Rock makes it Butterfree go cool. is pretty good in VGC sometimes. Like in the first couple seasons, uh, yeah. people would run Scarf Butterfree just to sleep powder spam in VGC. And put your whole fucking team to sleep, because who uses a, a sleep powder with a scarf? But it fucking works. I use stealth rocks with a scarf. Does that count? Well, that's that's uh, that's agency tech. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> agency tech. The agency, bro. You don't know the agency? Nope. Of course I know the agency. Oops, Joe's... It must be a British thing. Nice. Joe's a noob. He's a noob. <laughs> Thunder Blunder. Thunder Blunder himself. Agency. All right. Well, what's y'all's uh, what's y'all's favorite moment about Butterfree? With Butterfree, When's when he fucking lets it go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Butterfree. Butterfree didn't get a whole lot of uh, love in the anime because it was only there for the short period of time for the first Indigo series. I guess and uh, David. David. I'm I'm, work, I'm working on it. Die somewhere else. <laughs> All right, here we go. What are you saying, Jesse? And this episode is presented by COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can make that joke. Do you feel like, too late. Do you feel like you have COVID? Um, maybe you spent too much time at David's house. Go Fuck get off, tested dude. or die. Fuck off. But as you were saying about Butterfree, uh, Jesse? Uh, it really didn't get a whole lot of uh, kind of love in anime because other than when it was in the Indigo uh, League uh, part of the anime, it never really was a big part of the anime. There was tons of times where you saw it and it was probably a part of the episode, but other than that, it was just like kind of non-existent. <laughs> to me, it was like it was just basically there to show trainers, hey, look, you can catch this thing. It evolves in two episodes. 
and then you can let it go because <laughs> it's not going to be good after this. <laughs> now, I will yeah, say... Meta, um, Metapod was more iconic than Butterfree in the anime, I'd say. <laughs> it was hard. Harden! Man, I was, I was actually watching that uh, episode the other day, and I was like, man, they sounded kind of sus. <laughs> harder, Metapod! My Metapod is harder than yours. It's like, what the oh, fuck yeah. is this? Oh, yeah. I have the hardest Harden, cock. That's really what they're Harden saying. For, Harden for me, please. Yeah. Now, I will say playing... Um, I'm guessing all of us played Red or Blue, possibly. Oh, of course. Um, especially, yeah. at least for me, and when I was younger, if I ever chose Charmander as a starter, Butterfree was kind of a good person to have for the first gem just because it knew Confusion, which was pretty good. And Fully Evolved at level 10 was pretty helpful for the early game. So early on, Butterfree was actually pretty good, but it dropped off so quick. Yeah, I guess it's, yeah. it's, it's in a sense the game's way of being like, here, you use this Pokemon at the beginning of the game, but as you progress, you can start catching better Pokemon and using them instead. Which is kind of sucky if you're a Pokemon. It just kind of sucks because at least Beedrill could even do something even kind of without a Mega to a point. I mean, still, Beedrill isn't competitive, like, useful competitively, but at least it could do something compared to Butterfree, almost. Yeah, I mean, at least the, the, the viability of Beedrill in Gen 1 was it was the only bug type that can really do anything. To psychic. Oh. oh. Oh, also, what the fuck, Jesse? Oh. I feel like when when you're introducing yourself in the beginning of the episodes from now on, you got to shout out Goon Squad because we both didn't do that. What the fuck? Oh, I don't care. I wow. Don't care. You can't tell me what to do. I am as known as the announcer here. Goon Squad <laughs> is not important. I will take with pride. <laughs> oh shit. Well. Goon Squad that, is a full it. squad. So. Wow. But back to Butterfree and its amazing glowing red eyes. I'll also say Butterfree was good at just because it, it got a lot of statuses early on. Like you had Stun Spore, Poison Powder, and Sleep Powder like by level 20. So if you kind of like doing that thing, it was versatile in that kind of way. Yeah, catching Pokemon with Sleep or uh, Paralysis. And then in the newer games, uh, Compound Eyes is very useful because uh, wild Pokemon will have a bigger chance of carrying an item you need. That's mainly oh, that's what I true. use it for. Uh, yep. And it gets theft, so you can just get it out and run from battle. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I always liked using him just sleep powder and. Like, I even did that in red and blue. Did you just assume it's in gold. In gold and silver, I started off with the Butterfree. I tried I to used avoid that for a long time. Butterfree. I, well, I didn't try to avoid it unless it was like a Nuzlocke where I needed it. But <coughs> other than that, that was better Pokemon to use than Butterfree. I always wanted Beedrill to be good, but... He looks so just cool. Wasn't. Yeah, and then he just was ass. So I was like, well, Butterfree gets Giga Drain and shit. Or Mega Drain and, and Red. Yeah, Whatever Butterfree does one. have a better move pool out of the two. Yeah, it's definitely more viable. Especially if it's still being used somewhat. Eh, too much emphasis on viable. It was decent. <laughs> it was decent. It was usable it was sometimes. It was as good as a bug could be at that level. Man, but there's so many better <laughs> bugs. Yeah, it's true. But oh, dang. you know, at that time in the game, especially in Gen One, like, what do you, what are your options? Yeah, but the first gym is Rock. I, I don't want to yeah. bring Butterfree to a Rock gym either. Yeah, but did they even have Rock moves? Yes. I think Onyx had Rock Throw, I think. Did it? In Gen 1, yeah. Onyx had Rock Throw, and then in Gen 3, Onyx had Rock Tomb. Yeah. Hey. Anyway, so you dodged that. Skillfully dodged. No, it kind of sucks that Skillful Tent Butter Free sucks, because it actually has some interesting moves. It was like, actually, you... it was actually like one the of the Pokemon friend. I was hoping to get a Mega. Like, uh, it knows Draining Kiss, it knows Electro Web, it knows... Okay. String shot. Some interesting stuff. Yeah, string shot. Um, wait, hold on. Huh? It, it, yep, there it is. It knows Harden. That's a pretty useful move. <laughs> Rage yeah. powder is actually very useful. Yeah, redirecting with focus what, is what I saw a lot of. What about GMAX Befuddle? Befuddle? Yeah, like it, it, like it doubles. Oh, wow. It, it can even learn teleport. That's pretty cool. I actually never used uh, 
butter pretty much in it with the G Max form. So I don't know how much that does really. It can put things to sleep, paralyze, or poison them. And it'll do it to both Pokemon on the side of the field if you're doing doubles. So a lesser group it's snarl. It's no, guaranteed no, like, a, oh, it's, it's guaranteed, guaranteed one of those. Oh, okay. yeah, it's guaranteed a status. On both Pokemon. Yeah. Oh wow. All right. Well, anyone else got Dude, anything to say annoying. about this thing? <laughs> nope. I look forward to us having it die quickly and then just basically have a five v five. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, alrighty, I guess Just let's, go see ahead, his nickname. let's go ahead and talk about our teams real quick, and then we'll move on to the battles. Alright, now we talked about how pitiful Butterfree is. Let's see how we're going to make it useful. Jesse, go ahead, you start with your team. Alright, my team has nothing to do with Butterfree, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but it does include it. Um, so for my <laughs> Butterfree, which nickname was Butterfree... Um, <laughs> Beautiful pick. I put uh, leftovers on it because I'm an idiot. It had tinted lens because I'm an idiot. Uh, also had bug buzz, hurricane, quiver dance, and sleep powder. And it was your basic max special and speed with a modest attack. A modest nature, I'm sorry. Uh, next was my Absol, uh, which was nicknamed Absol. Uh, it was my <laughs> Mega. Um, I had Flamethrower, Thunder Wave, Rock Slide, and Knock Off. So I'm looking to maybe get some juicy Paralyze. Um, didn't go with Sucker Punch just because I felt like that might be too predictable. So hopefully it can that'll kind of jam up my opponents a little bit. Um, this is a mixed build, so I did go max attack with a little bit of special attack and a little bit of max out speed. A little bit uh, of max out speed? A little bit of maxed out speed. If you <laughs> like. Rash, Morgan, Rash, naive. Morgan, that's for you, bud. Maxed out speed just for you, bud. Max uh, out speed. Next is my Kamo'o, which nickname <laughs> is Kamo'o. Um, it's your basic, basic it's a creative bitch genius. build. It's a Salic Berry. Uh, I gave it Overcoat just because Butterfree. This team was kind of designed just to go against Butterfree because, you know, once Butterfree gets like four quiver dances, it becomes somewhat of a threat. <laughs> um, it's your basic belly drum, fire punch, drain punch, substitute. Uh, uh, it is a timid with max speed and attack with 4 and HP. Uh, and then I went with my Wombo Combo that hopefully will do some damage. Uh, first part is Gigalith, which nickname is Gigalith. Uh, it has a Smooth Wombo? Rock, and it's a Sand Street. Uh, it's got Stealth Rock, Iron Defense, Body Press, and Explosion. Uh, I like exploding my load on people, so hopefully it'll do, it'll do some work. Oh, family uh, show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you're right because yeah, you you know, say some of our chicken. nicknames will be good. You can say dick and chicken, but you can't say you like to blow loads on people's faces, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't Pornhub. I should have been like more sophisticated, like uh, like British breakfast. I don't freaking know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gigalith has max HP and attack with a little bit of special defense. Um, and I went with the Dracovich to combo with it. Uh, I went with Sand Rush. Um, it's got a life orb. It's got fish, uh, fishes rend, <laughs> fish ice fang, <laughs> iron head, and leaf life. Leaf, 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 and it's an admin, uh, max H, uh, max attack speed, yeah, and a little bit. got me. Oh, <laughs> and then, uh, just because I need a little bit of tankiness, I, uh, brought in Celestela. Um, basic, basic Celestela. Also, its nickname is Celestela, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, it's got leftovers. It's just simple. Lead Seed, Flamethrower, Air Slash, Flame, Slash Cannon, uh, Max HP, and Flame Special Fire. Attack. Just basic stuff. So. All right, next up we got David. So we just left one of the cheesiest battlers making the least cheesy team I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got... Futterbree, the Butterfree, with the Focus Ash, and then everything's the same as Jesse's, except it has Giga Drain over Bug Buzz, because I expected rock types, I guess. <laughs> Got Mega Scizor named Peggers, a.k.a. Poggers, a.k.a. Scizor, a.k.a. Scissoring, with uh, Technician... If you have to explain of... it that much, it's not funny, mister. <laughs> it's funny to me. 
Bullet Punch, you turn knock off. Basically, I just wanted to sweep with Bullet Punch because it's really fun. You got I See You Dick, the Dragapult. Uh, basic subset with Dragon Dance, Phantom Force, and Dragon Darts. Adamant. Not max speed. That apparently is going to play a role, I think. Uh, 6 0 <laughs> Joe, the Tapu Fini with leftovers and Misty Surge. Uh, Defog, Muddy Water, Moonblast, Calm Mind. It's basically just a physical wall, mostly defensive and to get rid of hazards. And then I have the Misty Seed, Hitmonlee, Footing You with Unburden. Bulk Up, Blaze Kick, Close Combat, and Rock Slide. Um, I thought he, I, it just sounded like a fun one to use this time, so I've never used him. And then we got Get Baked, the Rotom Heat with Choice Specs, Trick, Overheat, Volt Switch, and Will-O-Wisp. Max HP and Max Special Attack. It's supposed to be really annoying, and Trick and... You know, what trick into a wall with the choice specs so that they would be useless, and uh, we'll see if that works or not. Alrighty, sounds like a threatening team. Certainly won't get knocked out first round, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have Stuart. All right, so my team this week, I was I definitely straight away was going to bring the D Max Butterfree. It's the whole reason why I chose Butterfree. I just wanted to screw you guys over, basically. <laughs> um, and I did the exact same set as um, Hurricane Bug Buzz, Sleep Powder, Quiver Dance, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, but I was timid. Um, I had Wide Lens on there because I wanted to miss zero moves, to be honest. But I changed to Heavy Duty Boots because I knew everyone would bring Stealth Rocks and that crap. So, um, you know, seeing into the future here. Um, <laughs> my Butterfree's nickname was Portuguese Breakfast. Uh, you want to explain that one? We got some time. I, right. I would like to. I feel like we have feel like they need to. They need to be the listeners need to Google these themselves and enrich their lives for a day. You know, they could do one a day, <laughs> and then next week it'll be. You know, don't even miss one day before the next. Podcast. Just do your homework, guys. Just do your homework if you're listening. That's right. That's right. Um, my first I one, wanted to bring lots of mons that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, first, first one to comment what uh, Portuguese breakfasts on the post where we announced the podcast. Uh, you get a full team of six months free. Damn, up in the energy. <laughs> so uh, my next Pokemon was Alola Muck. Uh, his nickname was Ramen Yamolki. Look that one up. Ramen like the noodles. <laughs> Y-A-M-U-L-K-E. Ramen Yamolki. Um, it was my dedicated lead. Uh, Pursuit, knockoff, poison jab, ice punch, poison touch, assault vest, max attack. Max Special Defense. Um, Donkey Punch, the Rotom Wash. Uh, I, was, I had it as um, Rotom Heat, but I didn't want to use two Heavy Duty Boots members, so I used Wash. Hydro Pump Bolt Switch, where there was Defog. Um, max Defense, just about. A little bit of speed, but not much. And Max HP. Um, the Charizard was my Victini. Choice Band. B Create, Bolt Strike, U Turn, Zen Headbutt. <laughs> Um, try and get some momentum. Maybe hit a, a click recreate a few times. We'll see how we go. Hot Richard, my Gliscor, Toxicorp, which I hope doesn't get knocked off. Um, <laughs> Swords Dance, Roost, Earthquake Facade. Just want to sit there in front of Mons and annoy them. Hopefully no one brings any Devotators because that'd be shitty. And my Mega this week was Mega Metacham, Leningrad Steamer. Uh, fake Out, <laughs> High Jump Kick, Thunder Punch, Zen Headbutt. I went for the coverage as opposed to the priority, I suppose. Um, we'll see how that goes, but uh, you know, I like the I like the moveset I chose: max attack, max speed, and I wasted four EVs because just before the um, podcast started, I deleted my team, so that was no good. Anyway, <laughs> this is how we go. <clears throat> All right, and lastly but not leastly, we have my team. Uh, I led my team off with Butterfree. Uh, you need two hits because I focus ashed it with compound eyes and its moves were quiver dance, quiver dance, bug buzz, hurricane, psychic with max attack, max special attack, max speed, special defense four, and timid ability. And I do plan on, <clears throat> I didn't make it G max for some reason, but I, I do plan on dynamaxing this mod of anyone to show off Butterfree's viability. Next, um, I have Blue Sun, the Lycanroc Dust, with Life Orb, Tough Claws, <laughs> Jolly Nature. 
with a 252 attack, 252 speed with Excel Rock, Swords Dance, Close Combat, and Psychic Fangs. Next up, we have Eat Bushy Tail, the low punny, mega low punny. Uh, limber ability to start off so we don't get thunder waved. Uh, moves are Fake Out, Return, Power Up Punch, Close Combat. Attack Max, Speed Max, and I didn't put the four EVs anywhere. <clears throat> but I thought, why not bring Mega Low Punny? I haven't used it in a while. Next up, we have Super Horny, the Ferrothorny, uh, with the Rocky Helmet to get that extra damage off along with the Iron Barbs. Moves are Stealth Rocks, Leech Seed, Body Press, Knock Off for, you know, annoying items. And our stats are 252 HP, 252 defense, and I also forgot to put four EVs somewhere. So, <laughs> <laughs> my team wasn't at full power. Here we go. Second to last, we have Wings No Work, the Clefable, since it can't fly. I gave it the leftovers ability and magic guard so it could sit in front of people and take toxics and stealth rocks and everything in between. The moves I went with were Cosmic Power, Stealth Rock, Soft Boiled, and Stored Powered. I'm sure it's going to give people fits. It's 252 HP, 252 def Special Defense, and 4 Attack. Special Attack. Then lastly but not leastly, I wanted a real strong Special Attacker on my team, so I had Hell Hydra, the Hydreigon, with Dragonium Z and Levitate. The reason I brought Dragonium Z is because Draco Meteor is pretty much its best move and I wanted that first free turn without special attack drop then I brought as well as Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Fire Blast and Tailwind just in case my team needed the speed with 252 special attack 252 speed and 4 special defense beautiful beautiful team alright now that everyone knows each other's teams let's go ahead and put them to the test all right, now we've talked about our teams. Let's go ahead and put them to the test. First up, we got GS Kamikaze David versus GS Gold Jesse. Yes, yes, yes. And then we I'm gonna have... Be, I'm going to beat his ass. David has Butterfree, Scizor, Dragapult, Tapu Fini, Hitmonlee, and Rotom Heat on his side. And Jesse has Butterfree, Absol, Komo-O, uh, that fucking thing, Dracovish, and Celesteela. What was that fucking thing? You want to say its name? The rock type. Gigalith. There we go. <laughs> I thought you were just saying it because you had like a bad experience and you were like mentally scarred from it. <laughs> no, I'm mentally retarded and I couldn't think of the name. Alright. I just died for a second. Alright, are we done? <laughs> oh, he learned how to mute people. I did. I figured it out. Fuck yeah. You. Now let's go ahead and see what these two morons lead. Oh, you already know. All right, so Jojo <laughs> comes out to the field first thing, which is the Tapu Fini, and Celestilla, with no nickname, is just sitting there looking at him with his tiny face. God, that's tiny such face. a tiny big, face. With the big fingers, the big fingers. With the big old detached SpongeBob arms. All right, Get Baked switches in for Tapu Fini, and Celestilla gets off a leech seed. Missing oh, terrain snap. is up for four to seven turns. Gigalith comes in, gets off the sand stream, and Get Baked switches its choice scarf to the Gigalith. And I forget, I didn't see what it gets in return. I got a choice specs. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Watch, he, he brought a special Gigalith. That'd be fucking hysterical, <laughs> Power Gym. Alright. That'd be power to do dog. something. <laughs> Fine, Dracovish? Really? Oh, oh I'm big stupid. For the Will -Wiff. Will -Wiff. Will -Wiff. Oh, I'm so and dumb. Gigalith misses and gets the explosion off. So Rotom Heat goes down. Oh, that was a terrible play by get, me. I can't even believe that. It went from get baked to get fucked. Get fucked. Right. I went for a Will -Wiff. I could have just fucking bolt switched. 6 0 Joe comes back in and Dracovish comes out on the other side. Oh, let's use fucking Dracovish. <laughs> fucking. Dracovish and Kamara. Well, oh, 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 oh my god. Six Joe flinches. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's no Six O and Joe today. No, no that's right. Alright, uh, Jesse switches out Dracovish for Celestilla. Takes the Moonblast pretty well. 14% damage. 
And 6 0 Joe is staying at 80%. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Alright, Jesse, don't Dynamax Celesteela. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I almost if you want to understand the reference uh, behind YouTube. this, watch our previous podcast. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. This this is bad, fellas. Well, yeah, it is. Storm, so let's see how this what goes. is it that What is it that Jake would say? <laughs> yep, <dog. laughs> <You> get fucked. <laughs> Fuck me. You didn't think Celestilla was coming. <laughs> It's coming hard. It's coming hard. Guys, well, I wasted my only check, so I'm kind of fucked. Celestilla threw its seeds at Dragapult. I see your dick, but since he saw the dick, the seeds missed. <laughs> oh, I see your dick see goes for you. a substitute, and Air Come Smash on, comes off by Celestilla Come on, and man. breaks the sub. Come on, man. He's bringing a uh, substitute belly drum, Dragapult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Tapu Fini comes back out. Celestilla goes for another air slash and gets Tapu Fini down in health. Uh, I literally lose to Celestilla, guys. David is in quite the pickle. Pedicle, man. Oh, he goes for the Mighty Water, does not get the accuracy drop, and Celestilla gets off the Leech Seed. God, I hate Celesteel so much. This is this is ass. Since Feeny can't see the dick, it got seated. <laughs> it switches out to Putin you. Putin, Putin you, dude. Oh, Putin, Putin you. Celesteel gets the air slash off, but it gets a special defense boost due to the terrain. Still sitting under 50%. Oh, him only goes ahead and Dynamax and go for the max flare and takes down Celesteel quite a bit. Air Slash comes off, but doesn't do quite enough. Can this be the turning point in the battle? Dude, I totally did nothing to the Celesteela, bro. What the fuck? Fuck your Celesteela. <clears throat> but I, he I, goes I, for the I, Max I, Flare, and Dracovish takes it pretty well. Brilliant. Oh, God. This ain't good. Dracovish looks like he's about to eat Hitmonlee's ass. He's probably going to. I'm going to say I'm probably out this one, guys. I lost. I hate Celesteela so much. Man, Dracovish. Fucking PML rules. <laughs> oh, Dracovish. Dynamax is here. And goes for the Max Geyser. So Dracovish is still Dynamax in the ring. That sounds disgusting. Oh, this sounds like a sack. <laughs> He's a sacking Butterfree. Butterbee's coming sad. out. Trying to get that sleep powder off on the Dracovish. Futterbree. Futterbree. Is it Sash? Or is it Sash sleep powder? <clears throat> Why does... Uh... QD. Yeah, Quiver oh, well, Dance that's came me. off and it's Sash. <laughs> Max Hellstorm the ice is... off. Bye bye. The ice will kill him. Why does the shiny yeah. Butterfree look like the mixed breed between Ash's Butterfree and the Butterfree it ran off with? I don't know. All right, Peggers comes in. The Sizzler, I believe, Mega Sizzler. <laughs> Dracovish so Dynamax and it's ready to eat his ass too. <laughs> oh, her ass. Oh, Max Geyser comes off. And Peggers goes for the Swords Dance here as Dracovish loses his Dynamax. Ooh, Bullet Punch was enough. Dracovish goes down. What will he send in next? What's the matter, trainer? You this shit is, in your this is nuts. <laughs> All right, Kamo'o comes in. Peggers is sitting there at 45% with plus two attack. Takes a fire punch in the brain and goes for the U-turn against the Komo'o. I see a dick is coming out. Komo'o staring it down. Does he go for the sub here? Oh, Butterfree comes in in place of the Komo'o <laughs> and Dragon Darts comes off and down goes Butterfree. Come on, Butterfree. <laughs> Talk about bye-bye Butterfree. 
All right. Oh, I see you, Dick, is sitting there. Mr. David saying he was going to lose. Doesn't seem like he's going to lose. Absol's in. I see you, Dick, looks scared. Uh. All right, Feeny comes out with the Misty Surge. 6 0 Joe still there. Absol Mega evolves and goes for the knockoff. So 6 0 Joe loses his leftovers, and Absol is there. Prime fighting position, but he switches back out to Celestila, who takes the Moonblast pretty well. But he has his leftovers. What is Feeny gonna do now? Hmm. I feel like he needs Shit. the Feeny. Gotta hold the Feeny. <clears throat> I don't think he needs the Feeny. Let's go! Oh, Feeny outspeeds Celestila, gets off the muddy water, and down goes Celestila. I had to check for that too. <laughs> oh, he's calking. No, I didn't. I didn't calc. All right. Well, Komo comes in in front of the Tapu Fini, gets Drain Punch, but not enough damage. Moonblast comes off and knocks it out. Mega uh -oh. Absol's coming in. Let's see what it can do here to this Fini. Probably kill it. <laughs> Fini is at ten percent. It could do enough damage. Let's just see what it decides to go for here. Goes for a rock slide for the chance of missing, but gets the hit off on 6 0 Joe. Goes down. Absol still at 100%. And David's team is low on health. Fuck me. Peggers gets the bullet punch off. And Absol gets off the flamethrower. Surprised not to oh, see the Oh, it's a 1v1. There. But Absol at 26%. I see a dick at 88%. What happens here? I lost. I wasn't oh, max speed. I see you dig, didn't I see your speed? And he goes down. Absolutely. Jesse the match. GG. GG, man. J fucking J. All right, now it's I me. Should've, I should have made a max speed, damn it. <laughs> now it's me versus Stuart here, and I'm going to go ahead and send him the challenge. You ready, Stuart? Uh, ready as I'll ever be. I just messed up, hold on. <laughs> he comes from a land down under. <laughs> Morgan uh, is in rehab, so he's not here today. <laughs> he's finally getting that. <laughs> told me to go okay. back to rehab, and I said, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. He's not in rehab. It's just jokes. He wouldn't willingly go. He's on the run from the police. <laughs> We've had three interventions. <laughs> if you have I'm seen this man, please call the police. <laughs> he's armed and dangerous. He's armed and dangerous. Well, he's got arms and he is dangerous. Exactly. He does a lot of crack. He's got bear he's arms. The guy who talks about his arms has guns. You found them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, I um actually deleted one of my mons, and that was not good. Oof. Can't have a team without six mons. Yeah. I mean, I lost one last night. So. All right. Where are we going? Butterfree. Except. It's like how we both sacked our Butterfree. All right, Jesse, <laughs> go ahead and call the game. Okay, hold on, I'm pulling it up. All right, we're ready to go. Yep. We've got two contenders in the ring, and only one may emerge. In the right corner, it's Stu Dog with his Butterfree, his Alolan Muck, his Rotom Wash, his Victini, his Gliscor, and his Metachan. And in the left corner, it's Samora Gaming. He's got Butterfree. He's got Lycanroc. Is that the Dawn? Dusk. Dusk, sorry. Uh, Low Bunny, <laughs> Pharaoh Thorn, Clefable, and Hydragon. The cores are very, very pristine. Fight! Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm afraid of his bulk. Finish you! This is actually interesting because these are a lot of different moms. Joe with some more games he starts off with Butterfree with Uni 2 hits with Stew Dogs, Donkey Punch, Rotom Wash. 
Donkey Punch. Oh, we so got a dance is... from Butterfree. This is surprising. And he takes a hit, and it will take two hits. He uses Volt Switch, which brings it down to one. One HP. In comes Metacham, and I think its name is great. It's Leningrad Steamer? So Leningrad. my name's this week. You're going to have to Google to understand what they are. I'm not explaining oh, online. Oh, we're getting creative here. this time. Yeah, that's right. Wow, you really did change one of your mods to it. Oh! What is this man? Oh, what a prediction from Joe. He What is this man? He max guards. <laughs> he dynamaxes his Butterfree to prevent the fake out from Mega Metajam. What a what a fucking Chad move right there. <laughs> Chad. Now, now he's getting he's he's Oh, oh my god! Here comes Donkey what Punch. Is this Butterfree ain't going down it. without a fight. Oh he takes down Rotom Wash to half. He didn't have bullet punch? I'm oh, just saying. It a, uh, oh, it comes a Lola Muck who eats another Max Mind Storm. Ramen Yuku? Yuki? <laughs> Ramen Yamuk? 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 <laughs> Yamuk? I use his Hurricane, Yamuk. which takes it down to about two thirds, and Muck uses Knockoff, and there's Butterfree. Butterfree's all dead. That's where it needs to be, in the <clears> grave. <throat> in comes Super Horny, the Therothorn, for Joe. Fair thorny. <laughs> Fair thorny, super horny. Uh, 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 I, I don't regret that at all, just so you know. He's going to use Ferrothorn every single week. Not every single week. But most weeks. Oh, another knockoff from Stew Dog's Muck, which takes some damage from both the Rocky Helmet and the Iron Barbs. Takes it down to about third, and Stealth Rock comes out for Therathorn. In comes Butterfree. Oh, it eats a body press, and it's called Portuguese Beef Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they eat, uh... Oh, and he uses a Quiver Dance on his Butterfree, and Joe uses Leech Seed. <clears throat> I guess they eat Butterfree. Do it. Do it, Stuart. Be a Chad. Be a Chad. Do it. Be a Chad. I guess they eat butterflies for breakfast in Portuguese? In Portugal? <laughs> in the Portuguese lands? Oh, in comes Gliscord. Hot Richard, who Ugh. eats a hot knockoff. Oh, oh no! Oh, and he doesn't oh, get no. to get poison. That's a big loss. No poison heal. I wonder why you switched. Oh, but he uses a sword like stance, and Joe uses a sleech seed. See where it goes from here. Oh, and you got an earthquake, which takes a fair thorn down to about half. But with the leech seed, he's about to three quarters. Fair, uh, fair thorn's looking good, while Gliscor is only at about a third HP. Steward's gonna have to activate his trap card for it to be effective. Any roost? Oh, he uses roost. And the Joe thought he was going to switch and threw a leech seed out there, probably. I don't know. I don't fucking know what it is. I misclicked. <laughs> <laughs> another sword stance. Another knockoff. Baron Thorn's back at almost full health, while Hot Richard's only at half, but... And Joe switches out. For Hydragon. Hail Hydra. Wow, a nickname that's not sex-related. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, your nicknames haven't had that much either. They're kind of tame, Stuart. I'm disappointed. <laughs> if you, hey, if you Googled them, you'd be well onto it. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, Richard, that's not my fault. disgusting. It's not my fault you don't know what they are. Not Look, Portuguese breakfast is not sex related. Checks hey, Google. Sure? Oh shit, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you stick a butterfly into someone's asshole and eat it. Wow, you're a cultured man as well. <laughs> See, this is not a good time right now. Go Donkey Punch. Oh, we got oh. switches. We got switches to Donkey Punch, and Stuart's using his Z move, and it's out. I'm oh, using my Z move. Oh, I'm sorry. Every whatever. Time. Sorry, I was looking up Portuguese breakfast. In comes the Charizard Victini. That's licensing uh, copyright infringement. I expect to hear from Nintendo's lawyers, Joe. Just kidding. That's not Joe. Yeah, you're I know. Right. I said that on purpose. 
Victini. And <laughs> Joe's Victini uses a U-turn. I'm just kidding. It's Stuart's Victini uses U-turn, which takes down the Hydrogon to about a quarter, and he uses a Drakeyar Meteor, which takes down Hot Richard, who it switched into, down to about 10%. Interesting move. How will Joe play this? Fast and stupid. Oh, I'm not reading this. I'm not reading, <laughs> I'm not reading this. Is it that bad? Portuguese breakfast. According, oh, he uses a dark pulse, which takes out um, Stuart Lyscore, which was a probably a good move. That was a kind of uh, like making them flinch. You know, are you going to make the move? Or are you going to switch? Because that Draco Meteor took down half of its special attack. So, in comes Metacham to take on. Ooh, Ferrothorn, who eats a high jump kick. How unfortunate. We're down to 4-4 four, four for each person. In comes Low Bunny, eat bushy tail. Fuck Ferrothorn up its ass. Fuck Ferrothorn up its <laughs> stinky ass. <laughs> Against Metacham, Leidengrad, Steamer. Uh, I don't know if I want to read this. <laughs> I don't know if I want to oh, read Oh, in this. comes Muck, a woolen Muck. And, oh, in with a fake out from Low Bunny, it's out. In comes Portuguese breakfast. Don't look that up, please. Don't. <laughs> Don't look that up. Is it that bad? I, I, I'll tell you after the battle. Oh, we got the Chad move, the G-Max. Oh, and the return takes down uh, Butterfree quite a bit, but he uses the G-Max to fuddle, and it only poisons. Oh. Low bunnies at half percent. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's see how Seward plays this out. Oh, in comes Hydreigon. Oh, and he uses a Max Guard. And uses another Max Guard to protect itself from a Fire Blast. You wasted it. I know I did. That's fine, though. I had no choice. And Hydreigon uses a Dark Pulse, and Stewart's down to his last two Pokemon. Intriguing, intriguing. Oh, the Charizard just got hit by Stealth Rock, so it's down to about half. You never know what's going to happen in a Pokemon battle. Mm. Uh, and Joe switches out to Clefable, while Victini uses a U-turn. Clefable is wings, no work. <laughs> Wing wings, no work. And in comes a Meta Jam for Stuart. Oh, and Joe switches to Hydreigon and eats a fake out and does not live from it. Joe's still up three to two with Lycanroc Joe, coming Joe's out. Joe's gonna win. This is, this, this is a sad time. It's not a sad time. It's a great time. <laughs> Joe, I definitely think Joe has the. Oh, and he uses Psychic Fangs, and it's able to eat it two percent and takes out Lycanroc. We're down to two to two, but it's definitely favoring Joe. I don't think. I think. I don't see a way <laughs> where he can win this, honestly. Yeah, Low Punny uses Fake Out, takes out Metacham. In comes Victini. Can it survive the Stealth Rocks? It does. It's at 26%. And they should kill it. And here comes yeah. the return. And it is the GG. Stuart loses to Joe. GG. 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 Finally. Oh, the only Mega Mega I was worried about was Mega, Mega Low Punny in here. Mega Low Punny. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more rock type Pokemon in Steel type. Nah. Alright, Jesse is down to me and you. Sweet. Stuart and David could co commentate on this one. So, Portuguese breakfast. According to Urban Dictionary. Read it, read it, read it. I don't know if this is what he thought, but this is what I'm reading right now. You whisk up some eggs, half her lay down, and prop up her ass real high. 
take a funnel and pour the eggs in her, then fuck her, and you have just made her scrambled eggs, aka Portuguese breakfast. <laughs> Gross. Wow, I didn't know that meme was a real thing. So great nickname, Stuart. I'm not watching anything else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Stuart, I guess you want to commentate? David seems like he's not even here. David, you're muted. So maybe he's just dead. Oh, okay. Perfect timing. Alright, here we go. Me versus Jesse. Who's gonna win? Um, I'm gonna say the guy who has more Pokemon left at the end of the match will probably win. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. No, we can. Dude, I wasn't muted. That was weird. I don't know what happened. I was dude, talking you about that. so whole... hard it just broke your microphone. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Could have happened. I said Bro, something just... funny and I forget. You, no, you didn't. Did. You sure in hell didn't. All right, well, I picked my starter. All right, let's go. Butterfree. Butterfree. Yes. Hydreigon comes out versus Butterfree. <laughs> Jesse literally has no nicknames on any of his Pokemon. What a disappointment. He's saving us seven minutes. That's fine. <laughs> He's getting in your head. Oh, and he hits the sleep powder. Psych. That's a grass type. Ferrothorn had switched in on the sleep powder. Yeah, I'm really good at announcing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that just happened? Oh, wait, oh this is it. the hurricane. This is Compound eye is hurricane. 9% chance to miss or whatever it is. And Unlucky. Super Horny skillfully dodged it. It had a 95% skillfully chance to hit. Ferrothorn sucks. So bad. <laughs> Don't hate. Right up right. there with Chansey. Right there with Chansey. Chansey is pretty shit. I hate Chansey so much. <laughs> Oh, that quiver dancing is scaring me. Double quiv. Whoa! Oh, hits him okay. with the mad crit. Hits him with the mad crit. The, that ferrothorn is bullshit. Ferrothorn Fer <laughs> heard my cries for help, and he got the crit. Ferrothorn was like, I will win you a game 6-0, Joe. We can win the whole podcast together. Como switches in, and then Ferrothorn switches out to You Need Two Hits. And this is where Joe gets 5 0'd. That's what you think. If this man goes for Bug Buzz, I swear to God. I hope Go, Bug Buzz. <laughs> he didn't even use the G Max. Fuddle. Oh, Max here. I'm lucky. <clears throat> that was a reason for it. Oh, and now Jesse switches into Gigalith. I thought he was going to switch into Celesteela, but he didn't. Oh. Goes for that Max Psychic. Puts up the Psychic Terrain. Gigalith eats another one. Oh, another crit! What the, what's and going on? Why, why no rock slide? <laughs> what, what is wrong in the world? GG. <laughs> oh! 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 He had it all planned out. He had it all planned out. <clears throat> he went for an no explosion. Again. No quiver down. It was all over. Dracovish switches in in the sand versus Hail Hydra. Dracovish goes for Leech Life into Ferrothorn, and it does more damage to himself than he recovered. I should have known this moveset. Jesse traded it to me today. <laughs> oh, Leech Life is boosted by his ability, right? Celesteela switches in. <clears throat> Super Horny knocks them lefties off. Are we going to hit the flamethrower? Or is he going to go for the flash cannon? What's he going to do? He's probably going to leech seed you because he knows you're going to switch out, Joe. 
because you're a pussy. <laughs> Damn, how'd you know? <laughs> they, you are what you eat, they always the say. Oh, Joe just, just wants to win, so he can pick Radita as his Pokemon. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Jess, don't Dynamax. Don't Actually, do it. Don't I had an idea about that. No, I wait. had an idea. Sorry to interrupt the game. What's up? But, what if one week we picked a little cut mon and did a little cut match? That'd be interesting. That sounds awful. I hate it. <laughs> really? I really? hate mm -hmm. so much, but I'll do it. I'll oh, do it. Little cup's so good. I'm bad at it. <laughs> You're bad at it. Like it. I'm, not, I'm not good at it either, but it's fun. <laughs> Blue Sun, the Lycan Rock, switches in on Celesteela's Air Slash. Goes for a close combat. Celesteela lives on 8% health, 9% to be exact, and goes down to a flash can and gets a secondary. Special attack boost by Beast Boost to Celesteela, the Ultra Beast. Eat Bushy Tail, the low pony comes out. He's gonna he's gonna hit a fake out most likely, I would say. Is it enough to take down Celesteela? It is. It's three v three. He's still got low, Mega Low Pony, Hydragon, and Clefable. On Joe's side. And we got Como, Dracovish, and Mega Absol on Jesse's side. He Dynamaxes! Joe goes for the close combat with Low Pony and Como eats it and hits a max knuckle. Shoot and it takes tomorrow. out! It takes out Low Pony! It fucking took it out, man! What He's is like, Clefable does, going to do? Does I try? Does I drag on eat one? Wings no work. The Clefable comes out. It's got Magic Guard, so an Iron Head at plus one might do too much damage. It doesn't fucking matter. He went for Max Flare, and he soft boiled because he's a stall. Another Max Flare in the sun kills it. Oh, oh, oh boosted. God. Boosted in the sun. I think I lose. <laughs> I think I lose now. I've never Duck seen flinch. Duck flinch. Duck flinch. Hydragon goes for that max dragon. Takes out Como. Easy never peasy. Drake. Oh, snap. Mega Absol comes out versus Hydragon. It's 2v1. In the sun, he goes for the thunder wave, and Gee. he hits the Draco meteor. What? Fuck. I what? thought Mega Absol was fairy type. I'm not even gonna lie. Nah, you. We, everyone said it should have been. I lose. I lose. Dark Pulse flinch. Dark Pulse flinch. Oh, oh my god! Does great. the Draco crit? Draco crit. Draco crit. Did it need the crit? Did it need the crit? Oh. oh <laughs> Who is your winner? Joe wins if I, switched, if I actually had Outrage on it, I would have won. Fuck but I didn't put it on yeah, that. baby. Oh, man. It feels so good to win. I like to thank the Academy. Um... 7%. 7% <laughs> third special attack and paralyzed, but you won. Look, I know I didn't win, but can we, can we pick the Pokemon to be wheezing just because of David? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to pick a pretty fun one. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Y'all ready to do you? Blah! Y'all ready to do Mewtwo? Ooh! Oh, an Uber! Uber. An Uber! No, that 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 goes outside of PML rules. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So if we're gonna use an Uber, we should make it all Ubers. Yeah. We let's do that. You can use all Uber team if you feel like it. So Ooh, anything yeah. that's oh, this is gonna be nuts. I love it. <laughs> Alright, six new no, it is. Is no this an maxing. anything goes game? <laughs> no maxing. Well yeah. you can't max because you can only, you can only max the mod if you if it's a maxable mod. Yeah. Well you can't max legends anyway. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and you I'm, can't... Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Shuffle and Max it in front of you. <laughs> Here <laughs> comes Mega Mega Mewtwo X. Here it comes. <laughs> Oh man, this is gonna be a fun week. But yeah, we're here. We go Mewtwo. Everyone's gonna have Mewtwo. Are we back? 
Are we banning anything? <clears throat> no. Any Uber? Anything wow. you want to bring? As long as it's this is gonna be sick. a legal well, we, set. We just, well, will we be able to Dynamax Mewtwo since we usually Dynamax, we can Dynamax that Pokemon? No, you can't That's... Dynamax Legends. I was just saying we're picking them on, and you'd say if we can G-Max it and Dynamax it, and it's just like it, except a few letters before. All right. <laughs> Don't you think it's busted enough Wait, without me out of me? We didn't allow Moltres to be Dynamaxed either, so. Is it possible to Dynamax Mega Mewtwo? No. That's sick, I and do I don't want to figure that out. I'm going to figure it out right now. Just, you just wait here a second. I don't think you can. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. Stay tuned. I think next we have Muck, and then we have Mewtwo soon after. We miss you, Morgan. We hope you, Morgan, Morgan your back. parents are just concerned about you. We, we hope you don't relapse. Back. You can blame it all on me. I the nose candy. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. The nose candy. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's it for this week. Do See you guys kids. next time. See you.